Hey everybody, welcome back. Ribbon with Texas All Water Fishing. I appreciate each and every one of you clicking on this video and coming back to Texas All Water Fishing. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. That helps the video out tremendously. That helps the channel grow and do all the things that YouTube algorithms have going on. And it, it really helps out quite a lot. So, but thanks, thanks for coming back. Thanks for clicking on this video. Now today it's kind of a rainy week and I'm going through some footage, I'm editing some videos and um, I, I found some clips, some footage on there that um, I, I was going to share, I just didn't know how I wanted to share it. I just got off the water and I was weight fishing with a Patreon, Jose, and I caught a handful of speckle trout, also caught a pompano. Captain Cody was also fishing. He was fishing on the rock groins, and he caught, I think, like 40 fish, like eight, nine different species. He, he had a real good day, although he told me it was a bit of a struggle and really had to figure out the bite. And what he shared with me, I wanted to share that information with you, how he downsized the lure, how he figured out the bite, while other people around him weren't catching anything, and he had a successful day. He ended up catching, or in his ice chest, he had uh, a leather jacket, which is a fish that i never seen before. Pretty dangerous kind of fish to handle. He also had a handful of pompanos. He thought he had a uh, state record on both, but he ended up falling a little short of that record. But he did. He, and so in this video here, and he's going to... He's Captain Cody's going to tell you some insight, what he did, and he's going to explain to you why a leather jacket is like a poison, or not, I don't even know if it's poisonous, I just know that it really, really, really hurts <laughs> a lot, you don't want to mess with this guy, you don't want to touch this guy, um, you got to, warning, 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 stay away from these guys, uh, handling them rather, and, um, and then he also cleans my fish, he, he fillets a few trout, he even does one for half shell, half shell, and he does a half shell a little different, and he also fillets the pompano for me. So if you want to learn how to clean some fish and some tips and techniques from Captain Cody, well, this is it. It's, you're in the right place. So I hope you enjoy this video. Oh, caught him on. Look at that little thing. A little catch, Every, uh, Everything little that I caught one. today was caught on this little video right here. Everybody was throwing three quarter ounce with like 40 pound fluorocarbon. So. I'm thinking super clear water. I switched to 20 pound fluorocarbon. I really downsized to a, a, a eight ounce Castmaster spoon. And it was almost every cast. Yeah. Three quarter ounce Castmaster. I had like six guys around me all throwing the same thing. Not a bite, not a bite for four hours. Well, three, no, probably three hours. Nobody caught anything except for me on that when I downsized. Yeah. So there's something to it. But I guarantee you, in that clear water, you downsize your bait. Even. When I first started fishing it, it, it comes with a little bitty hook smaller than this, but it bends real easy. So I was getting a bite almost every cast with that smaller hook, and I put this bigger hook on, and it was about every 20 cast. So it slowed just by going. Just, uh, just uh, the hook size. And it was just the diameter size yeah. of the hook. It wasn't, this is the same size hook, but it's thicker metal. Okay, yeah. And that stopped my bite almost. No kidding. Yeah. Really? I yeah. Mean, it's, yeah, it's and, the details. And, and, and freshwater fishing, that's a huge deal with downsizing in clear water. Smaller lines, smaller baits, makes a huge And today it really... It, you know that you say difference. that the other day, yeah, I, I was using, I was using, I see that. I got phrase in my line and somehow I got a knot in my line, but it, it, the bite was on. I didn't, I didn't yeah. three times. So. The other day I was using 20 pound mono. I caught 20 to 25 trout. Today I was using 30 pound. I'm, 20 pound fluorocarbon today i'll use 30 pound fluorocarbon and i probably caught maybe 12. yeah yeah of course the big a different day but yeah yeah i sure. think that but the water looked a lot clearer today than it did the other day yeah it's way clearer you catch one of them today i did not what is that that's a leather jacket leather jacket dangerous fish dangerous you, you think a hard head or a gaff top hurts when you get stung by them this thing is 10 times worse i promise you really? it's like a jellyfish and like a scorpion together it, it stings for like the first five or six minutes i mean your hand swells up and hurts really bad and then every two minutes for like three hours i mean it's like a jellyfish sting like really every two or three hour, or two or three minutes really? <laughs> i know that's silly but yeah dude that's these dorsal fins dude will kick your butt i'm telling you it's not these they're folded up there's like they're seven across there they're in inside. i wouldn't I, I i would not hold that fish 
You I promise it. you, I got stung by one three years ago. My hand swelled up, but it just, it's, I've been stung by a scorpion before, and it's worse than a scorpion. I'll spit all over the fish. Really? So, <laughs> hold it up, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, and they got some pretty good teeth on them, too. Do they? Seems like, oh, maybe not. I thought they had big teeth. Yeah. I wonder if I can get that fin. There we go. There we go. See them? Don't touch. No touchy. <laughs> no touchy. No touchy. <laughs> and it's my own. So, no that's, that's touch our on. safety tip of the day. Don't handle the leather jacket. They are. They really hurt. I'm not exaggerating. I've been stung by 40 hardheads and... 20 gaff tops this is way 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 worse it would really hurt a kid what'd you catch it on well it's a little shiny thing called the cast master okay and i, and I probably got the state record leather jacket might and i probably the got state the state record. record pompano maybe i got a two and a half three pound pompano so i might have two state records today two maybe two we're gonna have to go wait a minute somebody somebody's on fire Hey, that's a big one. Is that the big one? Uh, I don't know. I've got several. Oh, God. What's wrong? Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ooh. It's okay. Yeah, I think that's the thing. Is that the big one? Okay. Same size as yours. A little heavier, it feels like, though. Let me see it. Hold it up. Yeah, feel, yeah. Feel Hold it. it. Hold it up. <laughs> My hands are cold. <laughs> it hurts. Your hands are cold and it hurts. My hands throbbing. Feel it. Oh yeah, it's a little heavier. It's a little heavier, yeah. Right? A little longer too. Yeah. More leather jackets. More leather jackets. Caca mama. I know. That's why I left all that ice in there. Because caca mama make it cold. I just put this clean <laughs> shirt on. <laughs> my, that's my best pumpano day, I think. That is an awesome yeah, pumpano yeah, day. Yeah, I think that's my best pumpano day. I had one all the way up to the rocks and it fell in the rocks. So you think this is the uh, close, close to it? That feels like three pounds to me. Yeah. It's two and a half, it's two and a half or three pounds. It's yeah. Water body, not state record, but water body record is yeah. three pounds even. Okay. I'm pumping them. But I caught one last year that was this like is that. your big one. And then, yeah, and that's, careful. Maybe. I mean, the state record's 0 0.17. Holy crap. On leather jacket. So, yeah. I mean, that's. Yeah, careful. <laughs> it still will get me? Hell yeah, it'll still get you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it will still get me? Yeah. Well, why you let me touch it? <laughs> what the hell? I felt it on my finger twice. Well, well, the I felt it just. still get you after it's dead? Huh? Oh, yeah. What? Will a bee still get you after it's dead? Hell I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't miss with no none of my my business. Oh crap! Look at that. That's them right there. Don't play around with them, boys and girls. That's gonna get me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, watch it! Watch it! Watch it! Watch it! Watch it! Watch it! Yeah, that's them. That's probably the biggest leather jacket I've seen. Yeah. Awesome. Got several about that size. Oh, nice, nice faucet. Oh, nice faucet. Faucet, boy. No, sir. Nice, nice faucet. Nice, nice Cody. Don't Good make Cody. fun of my faucet. Sit, Cody. This, sit. Good it boy. is. Look at it. This is this is high dollar stuff I got going on here, buddy. It's like uh, this is fancy. Look at this. Yes. Man, you all of it. All good. All, all right. over it. That's right. a nice one. That, that's a pretty nice. That's a nice yeah, one. I, 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 I caught him on a cast master. On a cast master? Yes, I did. For Maybe Ruben caught it. I'm just jealous. On live shrimp. On live. Oh, you cheating! You know what? Hey, hey, you are a cheater. Hey, match the hatch. We don't fish with live bait around match here. Match the hatch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah, dude, don't, don't do me on the first one here. I, I got to do on the first one. You always do the first one, man. It takes me a little bit. Okay. Um, I need to do some with that. With that. I need to get sponsored snapper. by these glasses. Whoever makes these. What are they? These cheap glasses. From. From uh, Taiwan. Look at that, look at that, just sliced. That is butter. nice, that's a butter. nice knife. Butter, man. That's that flex blade, right? This thing, I've had it, I bet I've cleaned a thousand fish with that thing. Flex blade. Flex. Flexy and sexy. Oh my gosh. Look at that white meat. It is white. It's about as white as me. Dang, that's 
Nice. Go down them ribs. Right there. I know I can clean it a lot faster and so can you, but I'm... I'm it don't matter. Today's Friday. Take it easy day. Mm-hmm. I think it's Friday. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! This will make somebody a happy camper. Here, 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 here. Got a worm in there. Got a worm? No. No, we didn't see... Nothing to see nope. here. Nothing to see here. That's a sesame seed. <laughs> That thing cut so nice. Yeah, I mean, I can just can't do that with a whole lot of knives. No, I need to. Go, I need to buy me a set. Yeah, we can. Uh, I can my, mine, are to, mine are terrible. Mine are terrible. My buddies might hook you up, maybe with a little percentage off, maybe. Okay. Okay. I like percentages off. Come on, get over there. I don't know what I'm Ooh. doing. You know what? I don't ever clean trout. They're so soft. They are very soft. Yeah, I don't, don't show soft. this one. This is bad. It's all right. The first one's always the worst. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Left a little. Left a little. Left a little. Left a little. Edge. Save some for the crabbies. Yeah. Crabby patties. So. So you got to find the little pin yeah, I don't there. think I left any. I think I got them all, but I'm going to cut it out anyway because that's a red red streak. Cut the red streak. So what are you going to do? With, what are you going to do with these fish, Ruben? I'm a, I'm going to just make some speech. Are you? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm barely eating fish. I'm not trying to eat a raw. Come on, man. You need to do some raw stuff. Um, we're going to bag it and let Christina make it tonight, and I'll be over with some uh, Dos Equis. Okay. He said all right. Good deal. Football practice. Yay. Fifth day, fifth day in a row. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. That is awesome. That's trout trout fillets are pretty. They are pretty. Can you Beautiful. give me a baggie, sir? Yes, yes, sir. Do your job. See, I don't, there's no pin bone there. No I'm, I'm still going to cut that red streak out. I don't know. Trout don't have a really bad red streak. Yeah. Not much of one. I like a redfish. <laughs> red redfish uh, got a big one. Everybody like that red on the half shell. Mm -hmm. With that barbecue trout seasoning. On, trout on the half shell. Would it work? Yeah, of course. Even with the little small. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, it work. Okay. Maybe I do the other bigger one on the yeah, half shell. Yeah. Nope. I'm going to put my hat on. Beautiful fillet, bud. Beautiful you know, fillet. You know, well, you know left a little so bit of Cody on there. Yeah, you know what? There's a little bit of one bone right there. Yeah, I'm glad I felt that. Yeah. We don't need that much meat in the No, no wormies on this one. Mm -hmm. Wormy and a wormy. There you go. One, I'm done. Come on. What the? What that's the? Uh, that, that's good though. That is good. Yes. Transparent. See for, for a guy that can't see. Think bad. Can't see what I'm doing. Want, want it to go that way. Oh, 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 I want to get a little. I want to get a cleaning table. Have the hole right there, and you just drive a nail right yeah. through there like that. Yeah. Then you don't have to. Have that, that will be the, the ultimate play table. I seen a guy. Lauren's gonna do that for me. I seen a guy cut a little slice and stick his finger in it and hold yeah. it with his yeah. finger like that. But cut a little slice. There you go. Hoya! Oi! <laughs> Almost on the shoe. Look, all my yeah. lucky shoes. <laughs> These are my lucky shoes. <laughs> look, look, look at this one. <laughs> I'm wearing my lucky shoes with my lucky sock. <laughs> See, look, that one's dark. That one's not so dark. Yeah. That one's skin tone. Oh my you god. Get a your mo head. mohawk. Oh, I'm, I'm not doing head. my that job again. Funny. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. You got I'm one job to do. You, can, <laughs> you miserably fail. <laughs> yeah, well, you, well, you, if. You if um, I've been known to be distracted by things. Yeah, you get distracted pretty easily. You put up my shoe. You got me. Look at my hell with your shoe. We got fillet fish, boy. Come on. Just thought it looked funny. Yeah. <laughs> thought yeah, I was here. <laughs> we keep it real around here. here we have that too. Oh, that's cool. What's next? That is a pretty guy. That's a half sheller. Do you want that half sheller? I don't know. Should I do a half shell yeah, trout? Yeah, you should. I never it's, tried it's a half shell. Way better trout. than the it's, half shell red. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Trout's always better than red. I, I never. Like you know, hey, Cody. I probably only tasted trout one time. No, really. You're, well, you're gonna enjoy this. Don't overcook it. Everybody wants to overcook it. Don't overcook it. You gotta cook those worms. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the problem, everybody. <laughs> Cody's like the pillow. That's a nice, look at that nice cut. Yeah, yeah. 
Man, that was Everybody nice. else has got so a saw. Smooth. This ain't just go through it, but it was so smooth. After cleaning a thousand fish. Yeah. Maybe three thousand. By the end of the video, it might be five thousand. I've been known to exaggerate a little bit. And a big eye. I think a, a big eye. I pump a little today. I'm gonna say two and a half pounds. No, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna say two and a quarter. We'll see. The leather jacket, 0 0.17 pounds is what the state record is. And I'm, I think it's gonna be a, a 0 0.2 for a new state record if we get her done. Yeah. Wouldn't that be something? That would be something. That's exciting. I caught some leather jackets last year at the at the South Jetty, and I went home and I looked what the state record was. Oh no! I was like, oh, I think I threw away. So, I'm yeah, trying to pay attention to all them state records now. Yeah, that's good. a nice fillet, buddy. That is a nice fillet. Yeah, there. there. No, no meat left. No meat. This one, I always leave a little on the back side. I'm always should before I do it all the way down. You should make both of your cuts because once you make this cut, then it kind of curves. Oh, it's kind I of see. hard to follow that curve afterwards, so really you should. That cut right there is what you're talking about. Make that cut. First no, no, on both this sides. cut here. Oh, okay. So when you're going down, you're going down. it's kind of floppy now because yeah. you took that out, yeah. and the backbone's not as sturdy, and it's hard. Right. You, can, I can't feel the, I can't feel the backbone as, as good. So what, what, what the I other always side of the do fillet? worse on this side. Yeah. See, I can just barely. That makes sense. Feel. Now, see, now down here at the end, it's more stiff, and I can yeah. feel the backbone. I can't feel it up there though, so usually I see I'll leave a little meat there almost always. At least, I, at least I called it. I know what I was doing. We shouldn't be videoing this. You told me video. We don't cut nothing out around here like everybody else does. We shoot it good or bad. Good or good, bad. Mm -hmm. I'm cutting not so sharp. I cut through the bones. All right. Damn it, man. <laughs> this looks like a damn Reuben filet right here. It does. I, I do it what just like that hell? all the time. I could have done that in like two seconds and it'd have been better. Where you just go down straight across. I'll do mine that way so when we show it. Bloop. Kaplunk. And you clean them super fast. Take but away I, that belly meat. Yeah. Oop. Where's the pennies? No pins? No, trout really don't have them too bad, not like other fish. The reds out of bad. Yeah, reds have, king mackerel have them all the way down to like right in here. Really? Spanish mackerel do too. They got long pin bones. Reds, Every, all, all fish are different, it's cool. You know, you use a dang fly, pliers to get the reds yeah. out. Just cut them out. We're doing the half shell. No! Yeah. Not that I'm trying to tell you how to do your job. Yeah. Yes, Masson. I do whatever yeah, you want me to do. So you mean make them little cuts down? Yeah, yeah. Did you do that? Yeah, I did. I did everything you told me to. Well, good boy. Even the barbecue seasoning. Yeah, and the barbecue seasoning. Is the That's shit. good. That's the ticket. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, we might everybody have a, liked it. We might have an intruder right there. Uh, we got several. You might want to give this one to somebody. Don't eat that one. <laughs> don't eat that one to Cody. Yeah, thank you. All right. What happened there? I don't know. There's none, no others, though. That was the only one. Yeah. Well, that's nice and flexible. Boy, that opens, oh, up. Yeah, look that at opens that. up good. I look like the webbing See, on a... Uh, I think we've talked about this before, but... Yeah, so when we do on the half shell, I'll do it a little bit different than everybody else. I'll make these slices all the way down the fillet. And then I get olive oil and pour on it. And you can see how it opens up. So I'll, when I put my spices on, I let it open up and the spices get all, you know, the olive oil gets all in there, the butter gets all in there. So I'll do olive oil, then I'll set it down in, in a, no, I don't set it down. I just do the olive oil, then I, I keep it in my hand. And I, I put all the seasoning on and it goes on every, all the way in. So you get more seasoning, I guess, on yeah. the fish. When you do it regularly, it's just on the top, but this way it's, it's all over the fish. and. It kind of helps if it's a fishy tasting fish or whatever. It helps, I guess, cover up the... Yeah, more seasoning, so, yeah. And then, and then you can see it kind of cooking up throughout. I do like medium high heat. This filet here probably is done in seven minutes. So at about six minutes or so, you can see the white kind of coming up, coming up. 
and, it, and, it, and it's getting more uh, firm. The meat gets firm when it's cooked right. And then I'll get butter and I'll kind of pat butter over the top of it to finish it off. And that's, that's really good that way. So I don't know if you can understand my mumbo jumbo. But I understand your mumbo jumbo. Yeah, yeah, so just season it up, cook it. Don't overcook it. Don't overcook it. But the thing about with that uh, cooking it this way is it's always, I've never had one that wasn't moist. I mean, it's, it's always, right. so the juices and the fat and and all of that kind of comes up throughout the filet and it's never dry. It's always it stays in moist. there, yeah. Even if you overcook it a little bit, it still stays in and it's just, I don't know, it's one of the best ways to cook them really. But I have, I have several ways. I've been doing it in the cast iron skillet and cooking it in unsalted butter. I really like it that way too, so. In the cast with, iron? That's without the skin. Yes. Yeah. Cast iron is, is golden, man. Do you have cast iron? I have cast iron. Do you? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I feel a bone. I never used it before. Well, maybe, you know, next time we should do a little, I mean, we could do it here. We could do a catch and cook here. I mean, I've got the grill and everything here. Oh, really? We need to do a catch and we cook. We should. Maybe this weekend or something. We should do a catch and cook. Yeah, because it seems like them are really popular. Those are popular. Dude. Dang. There ain't nothing left on that. No. There ain't nothing left on it. Like a wind chime. 